everybody. Uh, my name is Maria Inês Lukacs. I am from Brazil. And uh, I would like, uh, first of all, to thank Ana Massinissa for this great invitation. Um, Brazil is taking part on Fabriano Inacorello since the beginning. The person that was our founder of our association, Brazilian Watercolor Association, ABBA, was the person that introduced us Brazilian to Fabriano Inacorello. Yoli Di Matali was a good friend of Ana Massinissa, a great enthusiastic of uh, the creation of uh, not only Fabriano Inacorello, but mainly the museum, the International Museum of Watercolor in Fabriano. And I'm pretty sure now that she's not with us again, again and again and again, she will be very happy to see that uh, Fabriano Inacorello is flourishing uh, every year better. You know? Even though 2020 we were virtual only, um, and 2021 now we are virtual again because of pandemia. Um, Fabriano Inacorello was um, very smart from the beginning because uh, we were going to Fabriano and uh, we saw the effort they were making uh, to have all of us there, presential uh, events and so on. Um, but uh, they were filming everything, they were recording everything in a way that you guys that were in your different countries um, were able to see what was happening, to be part of this great conference. And um, um, they asked me to give a testimonial. Um, no testimonial could be better then say that uh, once, words of Yoli Di Natali, when you go to Fabriano for the first time, you become a different person and you have to go back and back and back. And that's what we are doing. You know? we, uh, we are not going there only for an art event. It's an art event, an international one. But most of us go there because Fabriano in Aquarello is a family. It's a family where you belong. You are part of it. Your heart is the same with them. So, once more, thank you all the people that are involved in Fabriano in Aquarello making this possible and looking to the future because in the near future, we hope to be there again, holding hands and looking ahead. When Anna invited me, I was at the country house and, uh, and although I paint here on, in my studio, also I, I work a lot over there because I'm surrounded by green and uh, nature and I like it very much. I have been painting watercolor for the last 40 years. So anyway, um, when I was there and uh, I was talking to her, I was looking through the window and uh, from the bars of the window and the glass, I could see all that green that surrounds the house. And uh, there came the, my idea for this demo of today. Uh, the idea was the view of the future because green is the color of hope and our uh, view of the future has to be a view of hope, a window to the future. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, I I'm going to wet the paper a little bit more and uh, I have preserved already 
the bars of the window. No? You can even see some of the examples I made here. No, I made pictures, photos, and then I made the small watercolors. No? In a way, I have preserved already with tape. No? This and uh, I normally don't have special colors to do something or other. I, I love to mix the colors. No? I think it's much more natural no? if I do something like this. So I'm going to paint, as you can see, no? the, the trees that I have there. Italian friends. I, I hope somebody's going to be there to translate it for you because now we are supposed to, to talk in English here for the general public, right? And uh, when I was in Fabriano you know, these last three years, I was trying to, to help with translations and things like that. So I know that uh, for some of you, uh, it's not that easy, the, the English language, but uh, I'm pretty sure you are going to do your best and understand what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. mass of green outside the window and this is what I am projecting here of course it has to be something quite uh, fast <laughs> otherwise you're going to be bored to death just waiting for me to finish it. Mm. And branches and trees and lots of green. And some yellow, some light for the sun. I think when you talk about watercolor, you should uh, think a little bit of uh, um, letting the pigment and uh, and um, and the water run through the paper and do part of the work as well, because they have um, a very special way to interact with the paper and uh, and maybe help you express what you want. Because if you want to be a good artist, you have to put your heart into it. If your heart is not part of what you are doing, that's for sure that uh, it's going to be very complicated.
it's fantastic about Fabriano is that when you go there, you meet uh, different people, you meet uh, oh, so many things. Remember, now what's very interesting, if you watch some of our colleagues, many of them use uh, their brushes. No? Instead of painting, they use the back to draw inside your paintings. I don't use that. I pretend I'm going to go shopping and I use a credit card. This is how, how I design, I, I work my... And there is something that maybe it's not going to be the same for all of you, but uh, because nature is something completely different from each one of us. No? But what I must tell you is this, that uh, for me, uh, green is very important because it represents mostly nature, right? mostly nature, and uh, representing nature. I get an example of a tree. A tree, a tree is like a symbol of life. You have a plant, you plant this little seed, the seed grows, and it becomes uh, A little plant that goes into a tree and this tree is going to make an enormous difference when it grows because it gives fruits and uh, it uh, becomes old during the seasons the leaves fall so you have several different procedures you have the several different situations no? and this is like our life no? you, you are planted into the mother's womb you become a baby and uh, I'm just uh, talking because it has to to dry a little bit no? and uh, And then you see this little girl or this boy, handsome boy that grows up you know, and becomes a man, the girl becomes a woman, and uh, the story repeats itself. You know? That's the magic of nature. You know? And so I think this is something that it's uh, unforgettable. Or more water. I know I'm not very keen on using uh, hair brushes and so on, and uh, I prefer to uh, to wait a little bit uh, to uh, to mix a little bit and. Uh, Sometimes it starts falling apart here. Mm Then what's the most important thing that you have to think about Fabriano is that uh, it's a place where you, you have the opportunity to, to see new techniques, new or old, maybe old, traditional ones, but uh, that maybe present 
present it to you in another way. Huh? So, I am drying it a little bit, but at the same time, I am uh, working a little bit on the sleeves, making the shape of them. see what I'm doing. Can you see? Try to dry it a little bit, <laughs> right? Now I'm taking the tape out. Okay, one part is out. Now, it's just, it's just a shade, you know, because uh, in the country, you know, these window bars, they are never so clean, you know, so you have to, to dirt them a little bit, you know, put in here some Touches here. Just little touches.
one. Can you see it? Directing it a little bit, but not too much. As a matter of fact, it's not a cleaning day today, but. This is the view to the future. What's the most important thing we have to think about when we are doing something like this? Because this is a, somehow it's a creation, creation, creation of something. Can be very good. Can be something incredible good, but or can be something from your heart. You have to put yourself into what you are doing, you know? and you have to feel that you are making something that uh, has a touch of you, something that you feel, that is talking to you.
this is my window to the future. The future with a bright light, the future with the green, the earth, and the wish that we will win this pandemic time and the art will always survive for the better and the better. That's what we hope with Fabriano Naquarello and the years to come. Thank you very much.